Hi there, I'm Tashi Dawa from Eckhart Yoga Online and want to share with you a great morning wake up sequence. We're going to start standing up. Widen the feet, we don't need any props. Widen the feet and turn the toes out. Bend and lengthen through the legs. As you bend and lengthen through the legs, let's just take a few breaths. We're gonna inhale, reach up, exhale down. Inhale, reach up, exhale and down. One more of those, inhale, reach up, exhale and down. Okay, so if it's okay with your legs, we're going to now stay still here with bent knees. All right, so let's just move the arms and the upper body around. So inhale up, interlock the hands and pull the hands towards the sky and we'll take a couple of breaths here. Inhale one, exhale. Pulling the hands up, inhale two, exhale. Inhale, last one, exhale here. All right, release your hands, give yourself a break on the legs. All right, so give yourself a little wiggle around. If you need to close your legs, then do that now because we're gonna stay in this position for a little while longer. Let's bend the knees and this time shift slightly from side to side. So we're gonna maintain this with the legs as we play around with the arms. So let's push our hands outwards as though we're pushing against two walls. We're just gonna switch the muscles on around the forearms, shoulders, even into the upper back. So you're pushing out as you kind of move from side to side. A couple more breaths here. Really charge the hands, open the hands, fingers to the sky. Last breath here. All right, if you can keep going with the legs, if you can't and have a break, that's fine. Take the hands in this time, unshrug the shoulders, bring the shoulders away from the ears and push against your hands. Let's take a couple of breaths here. I know the thighs are very, very switched on now. We're gonna be fine. If you need a break, take a break. We'll take one last breath here. Okay, well done. Take your hands onto your legs and really rest down. Lock out through the elbows, leaning on the legs. And we're just getting a little bit of a break on the thighs, but also a little bit of a stretch through the spine. All right, drop one shoulder forwards if that feels comfortable. You're really leaning your hands onto those thighs and we'll drop the other shoulder forwards for a moment. All right, and then coming up, we better have a break on the legs. So toe heel, toe heel into the center. Give yourself a little kick out and shake out through the hands. All right, one more goddess squat activity to do. Join me. So sitting low and let's take the hands up high and imagine you're holding a big ball, like a big Pilates ball. All right, take a breath here, take the ball to the right. We're switching on some of the stomach muscles as well as the thighs. Take a breath here to the right and then take the ball all the way down into the center so you're rounded through the spine. A breath here. Okay, the ball comes over to the left side. You're reaching to the left. One breath in each position. Come back into the center and take another breath. We'll do the same on the other side. Okay, reaching to the left side. Coming into the center round your spine. Coming over to the right, reaching across to the right. And then back up into the center. Okay, so give yourself another break and then go straight back into the thighs, into this squat. All right, the arms come up again. Let's do it slightly differently. So take a breath in the center. This time the right elbow really leans down onto the thigh and then we reach and side stretch. Take a few breaths here because this is really lovely for this, the left side of the body. Really leaning on the leg. All right, that same position that we were in before, rounded spine. You can release your head and neck here. You can even rock a little bit from side to side as though you're rocking this Pilates ball a little bit from side to side to release 
from the upper back around the shoulder area. Okay, leaning on the left elbow and let the right arm reach, really reaching up and over to the sky behind you or to beside you, breathing deeply. You can switch on the hands, leaning heavily on that leg. Last breath here. And then we're coming back into the center. Take another breath. This is the last one in this squat. Well done. Okay, so walk yourself back into the center and you'll need a little kick out of the legs there. Okay, so we're going into just a little shake out like we're kind of uh, doing a, a little shaky jog. Just shake from side to side. This is really lovely for the connective tissue across the shoulders. Could you shrug the shoulders, shake out the hands? All right, so hopefully that's kind of gotten rid of the charge in your thighs because we're gonna go back into a little bit of challenge in the legs. Wider stance this time, we're going into warrior two. I'm gonna turn my right toes out first. You can do whichever side you'd like. Okay, and then bend and lengthen just that, that right leg. So the foot has turned out and you're bending and lengthening, tracking the knee into the center of the foot if you can. So the knee might have to come out slightly. You're gonna switch on kind of the right buttock here. So bending and lengthening. All right, so into warrior two, spread the hands. Open the hands to the sky and look at your right hand. Bend deeply in that right knee. Three breaths here. Two. Three. Side angle pose. So the elbow comes down onto the knee. We reach up and over and we've got that side stretch into the left side. Maybe lifting the gaze up slightly if that's okay with the neck and breathing deep here. Couple of breaths is enough. Last breath here. All right, and then let's come up and go to the other side. So first, as we spin the left foot, if you're doing the left with me, and then bend and lengthen, just to track that knee into the center of the foot, to warm up and mobilize around the hip before we kind of stay in that static position. Let's just allow the joints to adapt. All right, and then bend the knee, take your hands out, spin your palms upwards, and then look at your left palm. Three breaths here. Really reaching your fingers out, giving yourself deep and slow breaths. So bend the left elbow and reach up and over with that right hand, lifting your gaze if that's comfortable. Three breaths here in the side angle pose. We can really emphasize the breathing on this top side, this right side body. Last breath here. All right, and then up we come and then we'll toe heel, toe heel, toe heel into the center again. Give that little kick out, shake out the hands and the feet. All right, so coming to some lunge positions next, we're gonna step the right foot back as we lift our arms and see if we can very gently touch the knee on the floor behind us. If that's too low, just bend the, the right knee. So we'll do right side first. We're going to lift the arms, step the foot back, bend the right knee, little touch, and then step forwards. Let's do the left side. Lift the hands, left foot comes back, bend the knee, soft touch, and then forwards. Let's keep going. Soft as possible with the touch. So we're using our muscles to sustain real precision with our action. And so we'll do a few more. Getting the arms to swing upwards, stretch the arms and the fingertips. Last round. Okay, so now we're gonna stay in that position. So right foot back, back knee down, and leave yourself here for a moment. If you need to widen your, from your back knee to your front foot, do that and just lean forwards a little. So it might be that you need to take this front foot forwards to enable that. It might be that it's not comfortable to keep the hands lifted. So keep the hands on the hips perhaps. You might even need to bring your fingertips onto the mat. All right, take a couple of breaths here. 
Okay, last breath here. Let's turn this into a twist. So back off the lunge, comes kind of slightly back with the pelvis. The right hand is gonna come around to the left knee, and then we're gonna see if we can reach the left hand back. So your hand can push against that knee. Spin from the belly button all the way to the back fingers and breathe here. Breathing deep. Last breath in this twist. Coming back around, we're going to see if we can get back up really slowly. All right, so if that front foot needs to move back or forwards, allow that to move. All right, coming up slowly. I'm going to count backwards from four, three, two, one, and step forwards. And give yourself a little shake out of that. All right, so left leg is next. We'll do the same sequence. So lift hands, step left foot back. Back knee is very gently going to land. And then we'll stay here. If we need to move that front foot forwards a little, do that and lean into the lunge. Do whatever you need to do to adapt this position to something that's best for you, that feels good and comfortable. So here we are lunging, leaning forwards. And let's back off and turn it into a twist. So this left hand comes to the outside of the right knee. And you can push the knee and the hand together and reach the right hand back and reach maybe even your gaze backwards. Breathing nice and deep here. You can feel perhaps the muscles around the belly switching on, which is wonderful. Reaching back. Last breath here. Okay, and then back up into the center. And whatever you need to do, whatever adjustments you need to make, because we're gonna get back up, tuck those back toes and get up slowly as I count backwards from four, three, two, one, and step forwards and give that a little shake out. We're gonna to come to the floor now. So you can just take your hands onto the ground and take your feet back, bring your knees onto the ground into an all fours position. Spread your fingertips. Let's just give ourselves a moment to really move the spine freely. So just wiggling around a little so you can wake up the muscles around the spine, allow a kind of a free movement pattern to arise just by feeling. You might be moving your pelvis a little from side to side or forwards and backwards. You might be kind of allowing one elbow to bend at a time, allowing a twist to form in the spine, whatever feels good, including the head and the neck. All right, so re-engage with the hands and really spread the fingers. We're gonna take the buttocks back to the heels and then we're gonna go forwards and backwards a few times. So reaching buttocks backwards. Okay, inhale, come up and let's go forwards. So the shoulders are over the wrists into a half plank and then slowly back down to the floor with the belly. Okay, let's push back up, inhale up. Exhale, buttocks to heels. We're gonna repeat that sequence. Inhale, half plank. Exhale down, inhale, push up, exhale back. Three more, inhale, half plank, spread fingers, exhale down, inhale, push up, exhale, pull back. Inhale, half plank, exhale down, push back up, if you can, <laughs> exhale back, we might be getting tired by now. Okay, last one, inhale forwards, exhale down, push back up, and pull back into the child's pose. Point through your toes and just have a moment where you're just allowing the pelvis, the lower back, everything to just rest down. You might even bring your hands underneath your forehead. Take a few breaths here. So once you've had a little rest, let's come into some more static positions that uh, warm up around the arms. So I'm gonna go into that half plank and stay here for a moment. Lift the belly in, spread your fingers, push through your hands until you feel like your rib cage is coming backwards in space. You've got nice broad shoulders. Belly is really switched on here. If you wanna go into a full plank, lift your knees and really charge your legs. We've got three, three more breaths. One, two. If you need to lower the knees, do that. And three. Okay, lower all the way onto your belly. Let's switch on the back of the body now. So point through the toes, take your hands back towards perhaps the chest line or the, the uh, breast line, and then let's do some breathing cobras. So inhale, lift, 
Exhale, release down. Inhale, lift up. Maybe pushing a little further each time. Exhale, down. Charge through the hands. Keep your elbows tucked in. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. If you need a break, take a break now. Otherwise, we're going to turn this into a really strengthening position. So take the hands back, point through the feet and the toes, lift the thighs, straight legs, and then lift the face. Three breaths here in Shalabhasan. One, two, three. Okay, landing down, pushing away from the floor, all the way up to give yourself a break in the child's pose. So you can point through the toes, create a little cushion underneath your forehead and just kind of wag a little bit or wiggle a little bit from side to side so you can release some of that action that has been in the lower back. Let's do another position, this time elbow plank. So what happens if you walk your elbows forwards Keep your knees on the ground. Walk the elbows forwards as far as you can. Lift the back, the feet off the floor and cross your ankles. Now drag your elbows back as you lift your belly in. Three breaths here in the half elbow plank, dragging backwards with the elbows. Two, pull backwards with the elbows. Last breath. Okay, just let your belly rest on the floor, unfold your knees, your legs, and then bring the elbows underneath the shoulders. We're in sphinx position, so we'll just allow this back bend to uh, occur in the spine. A few breaths here, and it may be that each time you exhale, you're pulling your elbows backwards again. You can charge your legs and buttocks here. You can widen the elbows if it doesn't feel really comfortable. We're gonna go back into that elbow plank. So as you pull your elbows back, lift your belly in, cross the ankles and really charge this posture. It's kind of like a supercharged posture by pulling backwards. Knees are pulling forwards, the elbows are pulling backwards. You'll really feel that in the belly muscles. It's wonderful. Last breath here. And then just let yourself sink into the sphinx. If you need to move your elbows forwards and backwards, do that while we play with these postures. Adapt to suit your body. Couple of breaths in the sphinx. Don't kind of shrug the elbows or soften the shoulders and slacken at the elbows. Push into the elbows to broaden the shoulders if you can. Lift up and out with the head and the neck. All right, one last elbow plank. Let's set ourselves up, lift the belly and then draw the elbows backwards. That's it, one. Exhale, two, exhale, three, well done, exhale, and then release down, peel off the ground, and allow yourself to come into the child's pose, or just up into a seated position. You can swing your shoulders or arms in space, give yourself a little break, a swing break. All right, come up into a kneeling position, point through the toes. We're going to take fingertips onto the shoulders and then pretend to swim forwards. Let the arms move the chest so you're really getting this twisted action through from your belly, through the lungs, all the way into the shoulders. Okay, now swim backwards. Let the twist occur. We're going slowly. Not kind of uh, going too quickly that we don't have charge in the muscles. All right, so let's give ourselves a down dog just to stretch the back of the legs, hands on the mat, tuck the toes and lift the tailbone up towards the ceiling. Just give yourself a little stretch out by bending one knee at a time. One heel comes towards the floor. Come back into that kneeling position now, pointed through the toes. Leave the line between the knees, hips and shoulders nice and, and true as you lift the hands and then lean back. Breathe here, three breaths, one. Exhale. You can feel really strong thighs in this one too. Exhale. Three. Exhale here. 
Okay, fall onto the hands. Give yourself a little stretch and a break from that kneeling position. Bend one knee at a time in the down dog. All right, just one more round of that kneeling position. Toes point, this time we'll add a twist. So lift, let's swim the right arm up and around. Let the chest move to widen your hands and really widen between one hand and the other, and then lean back for a couple of breaths. One, exhale. Only going so far back that you feel safe. Two, and three. All right, so take yourself down onto the hands, off the knees into a down dog, give yourself a break, a little wiggle break. And we'll do the other side, so knees down, point toes, lift yourself up, take the left hand back, really lengthen between the hands and then lean back. Only going so far back that you feel safe, that it feels achievable, that you can maintain it. Last breath here. And then we can fall onto our hands, up and off the knees, give ourselves a wiggle break. All right, so just one last in our sequence this morning, taking our right foot up towards the sky, down dog with the foot lifted, and then knee comes forwards as you come forwards into a plank, three of those. Okay, lift up, exhale forwards. Lift up two, exhale forwards, lift up three, exhale forward, stay two breaths, inhale one, exhale, inhale two, exhale here, you're trying to lift the heel, okay, and then sweep up all the way up, three-legged dog, and then we'll swap sides. If you need a break on your hands, just give yourself a little flicking hand break, so you can do the other side without any stress in the wrists. All right, so the same thing on the other side. Left foot lifts, inhale, exhale, knee, in and forwards. That's it. And up and forwards. Last one, up and forwards. We're going to stay. Inhale, one, exhale. Inhale, two, exhale here. Inhale, lift the leg back up. All right, and then bring that foot down, bring your knees to the floor, sit onto your feet, give yourself a little swing in the arms, a little shake of the hands. And thank you so much for joining me. I hope that's kickstarted you for the day. Subscribe to the Eckhart Yoga channel. Come and join me. I've got loads of classes, Eckhart Yoga online. I look forward to seeing you soon. Namaste.